Welcome to the reboot of an American icon, the latest generation of one of the greatest sports cars ever made. It's the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, the C8. And this is a huge reinvention for this car. More changes than we've ever seen before. So many that I hardly know where to begin, but the engine is always a safe bet. Now, normally when you talk about a Corvette and you wanna talk about the engine, you go pop the hood. This time, the engine's back here. This is the first mid-engine Corvette, but don't worry, it's still packing a big V8. 6.2 liters to be specific, just like before. Chevy not going with a turbocharged V6 or anything like that. But they still managed to find 30 more horsepower than before. With the performance exhaust, this thing puts down 495 horsepower. And combined with a new 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, means this thing can get from 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. That's almost as fast as the old ZR1. Now, moving the engine to the back means better handling, of course, but that also means shifting the cabin forward, moving the driver closer to the front of the car, and it means a completely new interior. Chevrolet said they took inspiration from fighter jets to make this very driver focused, specifically name dropping the F-22 and the F-35, and that certainly looks pretty radical in there. The 12-inch infotainment screen is tilted toward the driver, and I think it looks pretty good, but I'm a little worried about that row of buttons on the right there. We'll see how that works in practice. Because the cockpit shifted forward by 16 and a half inches, the center of gravity is actually right next to the driver's hip, which should give unparalleled feel when you're driving this thing out on the track. The short nose makes this Corvette look significantly different than any Corvette we've seen before, but still, it's familiar, and frankly, I think it looks really good. But we still got two big questions. Number one, how much is it gonna cost? And number two, what's it gonna be like to drive? I look forward to getting answers to both of those in the coming months. That's what I think about the new Corvette C8, but let us know what you think in comments. Is mid-engine a good thing? And what about that interior? Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out theroadshow.com for all the details.